I did a test uh, tap, a drilling tap into a bit of acrylic perspex and it was more bloody uh, swarf than you could ever dream of, more than I expected and it was all on the inside ridge as, as I drilled and also as I tapped through so I th really do think I need to take the uh, the inners out of the speedo um, to, um, to drill these holes, here's a speedo I think if I had a tapped hole say there and there I use something along the lines of M4 I put a, a tap a quite a tight tolerance thread and I can put a washer, either a rubber washer or whatever washer, felt washer, any washer, sealing washer so I've got the tightness of the threads and the seal these could be two bungs one of them I can drill through to purge it with a I silver solder a small pipe onto the end of this after drilling it through so if I tap M4 I'll be happy I, I'll, I'm happy to assemble the speedo so uh, that's what I want to do actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is the type of thing you're faced with. If I get that inside and it appears in use on top of the dial, I'm buggered because I've been, I, you can't continually bend this stuff, uh, the bezel, because it's only brass, thin brass, so it's going to, and it's already been rolled, so it's uh, sort of hardened slightly, work hardened. We're gonna want it to it'll start cracking the bezel if I if I gotta undo it, roll it back again more than once. So uh, I think it's gotta come apart. Well, to, I'm gonna lever off the needle, and to do that, I want to protect the dial behind. So I'll come up. I'm playing around with ideas at the moment, but um, a bit, a bit of a thick card, or in this case, a very thin ply. I've just drilled a hole through and if I put that through I'm wondering if that will slip under there oh that's a bigger hole I don't know Good, not much clearance there, is it? Okay. So if I can now slip something thin under each side and lever it the uh, bezel off. This is a junior axle blade. Even that's a looks a bit too thick on the thick side. God. I have to rethink this I think. I got some thinner pie. I don't know what this was. Um 0.95, well 0.6. 16, 37. I've got a 64 if that would be thin. Thinner possibly than that, yeah. Right, but I need to come up with Yeah, um, like the jaws of that or something like you know. I don't know. I've cut out another piece of wood, which is as thin as I've got, which is one sixty fourth, which is I don't know about point four of a mil. Now I can slide that under there. Now I'm using the thicker part, a junior axle blade. Just out of interest, 
it's to, you can't get two forks underneath it wasn't enough clearance so I'm going to support help support this side somehow actually I can use Support of a junior axle blade there, and Okay, now I've got to get the bezel off. It's going to be fun, isn't it? I'll have to examine that a bit. Right, there's no mounting screws on the on the face here, so uh, the dial. So, it, but it is stuck to a a backing plate. I can just see. So I need to we separate the glued joint the only thing I can think of but it, well, it hasn't got sharp edges is feeder gauges so I want to see if I can make this work Well, I'm gonna get me scalpel as well, and just obviously I'm gonna take some, take me time on this. So I'll do this off camera. Thank you. 
done it. Okay, good. Um, wow. Right, now we're in business. It's interesting actually. This dial was only glued on the edges. So you're fully floating for the rest of the area was hollow and so on. Interesting, isn't it? So we only have to run a tiniest bit of glue out on the outer edge. And we're in business. Okay, right, this is um torch screws and torch screws are are across the board is uh the same are for metric as they are for imperial. So uh, this is a uh, torch T10 size. So let's undo that. I'll tell you what I wanted to do before I remove this though. I just wanted to make a mark at the top of the speedo to denote the top of the speedo. So it's there. Just really, just to, in case I run into a problem later, the orientation. So, uh, right. I'm interested to find out also is, that, is that how the socket at the back is uh, sort of sealed. Is it just a rubber sleeve or what? It's a D screen retainer. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Wow. So that's just a pressure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like static. Right. Put that one somewhere safe. Now we got the uh, circuit board itself. Ah, you can't you can't this put this in wrong. You can only put it in one way. But this ah, now this was what it was all about. So that's the gearbox for the stepper and um, driver for the stepper motor. Right. Well, I never. Well, there you have it. It's not sealed. That that connector block. So what seals? The only thing that actually seals that connector block is the plug itself into this body. Because the connector block itself is no seal at all. No rubber around that at all. Well, I'm buggered. So in the, in the case of purging it, it'll have to be purged after you've connected it up. So it'll have to be done on top of the tank. Or you know, in the vicinity of where it's uh, sort of destination. So, um... Right, this is the time to get this myth out of the way. If you go to an, uh, a Hardy Davidson dealership and mention about speedos, they'll tell you that they are sealed units. They told me, I went to Hardy Davidson dealership, and they told me sealed units, but as you can see, they are not sealed units. The only thing that actually seals the speedo uh, from the outside atmosphere is when the plug is plugged in. It's the it's the kind of the dust cover uh, on the on the connector plug will seal the speedo. The way, what what they're saying at dealerships really is that uh, it's sealed so that you can't take it apart. It's not sealed from the atmosphere whatsoever. Now, um, the problem with this is, is that uh, when it leaves the fact hardly there's some factory that um, it's probably done it, uh, assembled in a dry atmosphere. It's got a, a, an internal, uh, as you'll notice in a minute, it's got an internal silica gel uh, chamber to remove any uh, 
dampness that might be within the speedo but that alone is a one use thing it can't be rejuvenated or anything it's sealed in the case so uh, you get your Harley Davidson everything is happy your, your speedo doesn't miss up and then one day you go to the dealership to have something repaired and or dealership or any other uh, other repair outfit and uh, they they do a repair and, and during the repair they got to remove a speedo they remove a speedo stick it on the shelf do the repair and when they come back fit the speedo back in now that speedo has been on the shelf open to the atmosphere for um, days weeks who knows when you plug it back in your speedo will start misting up because you've got atmosphere back in it and atmosphere uh, contains water vapor no matter how the drier the, the atmosphere sorry the, the hotter the atmosphere the more moisture it can, can contain so uh, that's number one myth out the way uh, they're not sealed they're only sealed for you to make it difficult for you to take it apart to repair that's all